Okay, I'm glad the three of us are able to sit down and discuss this like adults because this has been going on way too long. Yeah, so we can all sit down and say our piece and hopefully this doesn't turn into World War Three because I'm not trying to fight with either of you. Okay. I love your daughter. Your daughter loves me. And of course we want to have mutual respect for everybody. Okay, my main gripe is that you're so overbearing. No, you do. You openly put out your judgments and opinions that are constantly coming in. <laughs> I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just saying you're constantly berating us on the way we raise our children. Okay, your intentions might not be rude, but they come across like that. You don't respect you don't respect my boundaries anyway. That's for sure. With my wife, okay, fine, she's your daughter. You can get away with telling her certain things, but I'm a grown man. You can't you can't talk to me the same way you talk to your daughter. Excuse me. I'm not your child though. That's my point. Okay, look, number one, you're always showing up unannounced. Yeah, you, you do. You just show up. You don't call or anything. You don't even send a message. You turn up unannounced. You invite yourself to gatherings and other activities. Yeah, you do. I think you do it as an opportunity to cri criticize and as assert some sort of superiority over us. She's your daughter, but she's not a child. Oh, my God, whatever. You do it. I think you do it under the guise of you know, caring about your family. No, don't bring her into it. She doesn't need to... I'm talking to you now. Yeah, boundaries. You completely disregard them. Oh, my God, how many times do I have to tell you? If I'm telling you something verbally, then that means that I'm not happy with it, and it's a boundary that you need to respect. But you don't. <laughs> okay, what happened yesterday? You were here. Yeah, okay, yeah, you made dinner, and then? Yeah, you're acting like this is your house. This isn't your house. This is where me and your daughter and your grandchildren live. It doesn't mean you should try and take over. Okay, so answer me this then. Your friend Barbara, what the hell was she doing here yesterday? You invited her for what? You see, that's my point. That's a boundary that you overstepped. How can you invite a stranger that I don't know to our house? How does that make sense? Make it make sense, please. Honey, can you back me on this? I'm not bringing your daughter into it, but we're, we're married. Hello, this is my wife. Things like that. Yeah, you overstepped the mark with that. Oh, my God, you're so overbearing and judgmental. It's crazy. Yeah, the way the way we choose to dress Molly and Marcus, that's that's our decision. It's got nothing to do with you. Why are you getting involved? Yeah, yesterday again, getting Molly ready. You didn't like her outfit, so you decided to cut an eye roll. What the hell is that? I mean, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, honey, but your mum is out of order. Eye rolling? You didn't like her outfit? She's not your child. She's your granddaughter. No. It's got nothing to do with you. And I'm sick of it. We have to ha we have to square this off because I'm tired of it. What do you mean? What's wrong with our home? It's a mess. Excuse me? Who the hell are you talking to? It's a mess. We have a newborn and a toddler. Of course she's going to make a mess. That's what kids do. It's not your place to comment. Oh my God, you are rude. I cannot. You're always trying to demean me. Yeah, you do. You try to emasculate me in front of my wife as if you're my mother. You're not my mother. Oh, here we go. Here we go. You've been around for longer, so that means you're always right. Well, that's, that's BS right there. You're not always right. You're so domineering. You do. I think you do. Sorry, honey, I'm not being disrespectful. I'm being, I'm just being truthful. Your, your mother is domineering and she's got this inflated sense of confidence where she can just say whatever she wants. 
Yeah, right, exactly. It's not your way or the highway. This is our house. You're a guest here. You're always insisting you're right. You're not right. You're not right. Please shut up. No, honey, sorry. I'm I'm trying to keep calm, but your mum is she's doing my head in. There's no respect. You can see it. <laughs> honey, come on, be honest. Your mum pressures you to do what she wants. Every time you get off the phone, you're shaking your head. Okay, so tell her then. Tell your mum. Can you let her talk? She's trying to tell you something now. You don't listen, you see? Oh my gosh, you don't have power over your daughter. She's my wife now. Why can't you respect that? Don't try and justify it. I do this because I care. Don't try and justify it at all. No, it's just control. Yeah, you are. You're a narcissist. You are. I'm sorry, but it's true. You're a, you're an you're an absolute narcissist. You are. You are. It's either your way or the highway. Everybody else has to. Everybody else has to tiptoe around you, feeling anxious and nervous. Yeah, you. Yeah. You irritate me. You irritate me. Yeah, and now Molly and Marcus, they're starting to get the sense of the vibe whenever you're around. There's always something. No, no, don't put words in my mouth. I never bloody said that. I never said, I never said that they resent you. They love you. They adore you. What I'm talking about is how you treat me and my wife. Yes, she's your daughter, but she's not your puppet and she's not your toy. She's a grown ass woman. I don't understand what your problem is, seriously. No, you have ridiculous expectations. I don't know, you're trying to mould us into your sort of play dolls, the perfect little family, but we're not. We're human. We have our own identities. We don't need you constantly telling us how to raise our children. Your grandmother, that's it. That's where that's where it starts and it ends. You're not raising them. No, because you always overstep the mark and I am absolutely sick and tired of it. This is my house. I bought this house. I bought this house. So if you come round, you're a guest. That doesn't mean you come round and start dictating what's going to happen. I'm not having any of that anymore. It's bullshit. Oh, shut up. I'm sorry, but shut up, seriously. Well, if you don't like it, you know where the door is. No, I'm trying to maintain a level of respect, but you're pushing it. See, here you are again, narcissist. Sitting here like everybody owes you an explanation. No, honey, she was like this before we got married. She was. When you have kids, you're going to do this, you're going to do that. Why don't you stand up for yourself and speak to your mum? I'm your husband. No, she's doing too much, honey. No, you're not in the middle. We. This is your family here. This is your family. Me, you, Molly and Marcus. Yeah, we should be the priority, honey. Not your nagging mum. No, I'm serious. She takes way too much energy out of you. And me, as a matter of fact. Oh, my God. Okay, so you babysit. So what does that mean? That means you get to say and do whatever you like when you come here. Comment about how our children are dressed. The house. My behavior. Who the hell do you think you are? I'll say it again, and I've said it before. I'm a grown-ass man. I don't need you to tell me what to do in my damn house. I don't need it. And if you don't like it, you can get lost. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We won't survive without you. We, we will do just fine. Honey, please. Honey, I'm not arguing with your mum. I'm just putting her straight. Now, please stop crying. You need to tell her as well. You need to. It will never stop if you don't. Sick of it. Okay, honey, go on. Why don't you tell her what you told me two weeks ago? Tell her how she makes you feel anxious. Yeah, she said it. Honey, tell her. Yeah, you make her feel anxious. 
Yeah, because she feels you're always going to judge her parenting. That's why. She's an amazing mum. Oh, because you care. Can you stop using that as a bloody excuse? It's so, it's so irritating. It's not because you care. It's because you're a control freak. Yeah, you've got to get your little grubby hands in everything. Every waking aspect of her life you've got to try and control. Well, it's not happening anymore. Yeah, because I've had enough. We've been talking about it, and now is the time to discuss it with you. I've had enough, and some things are going to change around here. Yeah, if you want to be a part, if you want to be a part of this family, then you're going to have to respect boundaries. That means mine and my wife's. Simple as that. Well, okay then. So what are you saying? We have to distance ourselves from you then. You choose, because this can't go on. I'm not going to let you drive my wife into depression. Are you out of your mind? Yeah, you're super overbearing. You are. Too much. It's not happening anymore. My job is to protect my family, and that starts with my wife and my children. Oh, oh, oh. she's leaving. <laughs> Whatever. Yep. See yourself out. I'm sorry, honey. No, I'm sorry. Look, look at how she was behaving. Yeah, I know. But I don't want our kids to get wrapped up in this as they grow older. They're going to see the conflict. No, so we had to say it. We had to say it now. I'm glad we did. Hmm? Look at me. Are you okay? You're just a bit upset. I understand. I, under I understand. When she calls you later, don't bow down and give in. No, you have to start standing up and telling her exactly how you feel. She's a narcissist. Your mum is. I'm not disrespecting your mum. I'm sorry. But that's just how I feel. And you've said it yourself. I'm not inviting her here again until she changes the way she behaves. No. She's the only person I know who, who behaves like that. And plenty of my friends are married. They don't have to deal with shit like this. No. Driven you in down a path of lower self-esteem. No, I'm not having it. You weren't like this before, before we had the kids. All right, then. So the next time she calls, you put her straight, honey. It has to be that way. All right. Do you want a cup of tea? All right, I'll make you one. <laughs>